on the road to Raqqa. These Kurdish and Arab forces are attempting to retake the Islamic State group's de facto capital in Syria. Fighting under the banner of the Syrian Democratic Forces, they can also count on the support of US-led coalition airstrikes. We're all working together. No one can say we're part of a political party or we're Kurds. No one can say we're this or that. We're one hand working together with the same plan and it's very democratic. The offensive, part of a two-pronged attack that aims to stretch the Islamic State group's resources and capabilities. U.S.-backed Iraqi forces and Peshmerga fighters are also attempting to retake the radical Islamist stronghold in Iraq, Mosul. Simultaneously attacking both of the Islamic State group's capitals, Mosul and Raqqa, makes sense on a strategic level, because the Islamic State group is incapable of defending all of its bases at the same time. It's probably going to have to concentrate on one of the two and sacrifice the other. In the outskirts of Mosul, Kurdish Peshmerga fighters listen in to the Islamic State group's communications. They've been battling with the radical Islamists for control of Bashika for weeks and have now taken control of about half the town. Iraqi special forces entered Mosul almost a week ago but have been facing fierce resistance, including suicide car bombs and booby traps. The city is the Islamic State group's last major urban stronghold in the country.